Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today I'm reviewing the Wolf Warrior electric scooter from Fluid Free Ride. It's 50 miles per hour, dual motor, and totally crazy. Crazy is of course relative, but it's hard to say that there's anything normal about this scooter. The Wolf Warrior is packing a pair of 2700 watt peak motors for a combined 5.4 kilowatts of all-wheel drive power. Under the deck rests a 60 volt and 35 amp hour battery with 2.1 kilowatt hours of capacity. It's so big that you get two chargers so that you can fill up that massive battery quicker. They claim up to 70 miles or 110 kilometers in range while riding in eco mode, though no one really rides this powerful scooter in eco mode very much. If you're riding hard, expect closer to 40 miles or 65 kilometers of range, which is still pretty darn good. The rest of the parts are equally over the top like these dual bright headlights, motorcycle horn, hydraulic disc brakes, and some pretty amazing suspension. Probably some of the best scooter suspension I've tried to date, actually. But the thing that everyone seems to take away from this scooter isn't the great build quality or the high spec components, but rather it's the speed. 50 miles per hour on a scooter is pretty crazy, and I'll be honest with you, I don't normally ride that fast. There just isn't that much of a reason for it. I'm generally riding in the 30s or 40s, which is fast enough for most of my commuting. But just like how most family cars can hit 100 miles per hour if you really stomp on them, having a scooter that can occasionally hit high speeds when you call on it is a nice feature to have. And when you're not using that crazy power and the dual motors for high speed, that power is still useful for quick acceleration and hill climbing. Oh yeah, and for off-roading, which is one of the major advantages of the Wolf Warrior. Now this model of the Wolf Warrior is the street version, and so it has street tires, but that didn't stop me from taking it into the gravel, dirt, and sand. And despite sliding around a good bit because of the lack of knobby tires, it actually rode quite well on trails. The suspension meant I could fly over golf ball sized gravel and barely feel it, and there was plenty of power even in sand, at least when I could get traction and stay up. <laughs> Obviously, if you really want to do off-roading like this, you should choose the off-road version to get those knobby tires, but I will say that even the street version did admirably well while riding off-road. So whether on trails or back on the street, I have to say that the Wolf Warrior pretty much blew me away as a powerful, capable, and fun electric scooter. Of course, this does come at a price, and you know it's not going to be a cheap scooter. I won't make you wait any longer. It's currently priced at $2,799. And while most people aren't going to want to spend the better part of $3,000 on a high power scooter, I can understand why some would. If you've got some fun trails around you, or you want to commute on faster roads, the Wolf Warrior is exactly the kind of scooter you'd want. It's overbuilt, it's rugged, it's powerful, and it's going to exceed your needs instead of leaving you mashing the throttle on an 18 mile per hour scooter while you pray that the cars whizzing past don't take you out. This is a true motor vehicle at this point, and it performs like it. But if you want that performance, well, you've got to pay to play. All right, we hope you enjoyed that review. If you want to grab your own Wolf Warrior electric scooter, there's a link in the description below. While you're down there, why don't you let us know what you thought of the scooter in the comments. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe. All right, see you next time, everyone.